Hey, it's Zero with the tutorial for the War Scourge, Node 5, Difficulty 8, 237 Scourges. The Scourges I am using are on the left. If you've been watching the rest of the series, you already know which Scourges I am using, as this is all the same run. So, I have gone through off-screen and done a couple of sacks. Uh, what I have done is cleared out Omega Red Special and Ultimate, the Ultimate from Phantom X, the Ultimate from... Uh, Silver Silver Samurai, the ultimate from Strange Heartless, and the special and ultimate from Wong. So going into this node, or going into this node with my main team, I am going to have a taunt to worry about from Silver Samurai and a taunt to worry about from Phantom X, which should be not much problem. Uh, now, I do believe that Dr. Strange Heartless is going to be using his special off the rip. I have two turns from Omega Red where he will be using his basic. So that's about how much time I have to start getting control of this node after that. Um, Omega Red will be going in with his ultimate. So what I am going to do is get a energy um, get some energy from strange heartless so that he does not come in and rewind turn meter from anyone and that will reduce some of the um, some of the RNG component to this negasonic is always a huge problem uh, whereas negasonic uh, does that does a lot of full screen attacks puts a lot of heal block on the team I like to make sure that get my team healed up what I want to do by the end of this note is make sure that I have uh, Star Lord T'Challa's health full, all of his abilities, and the same thing. Uh, I would I would say to have Hulk as close to full health as I can, since I am going to be using him on Node Ten as well. Hulk is a lot less important though, so I will get this rewind turn meter over here, uh, which will clear one of the evades from Phantom X, and then with. Uh, Yondu spawning in, he's clearing some positive effects as well. It's kind of random which effects he clears. So to stop that taunt from Silver Samurai, I'm going to use the basic from Bruiser. And then I only have the taunt to worry about from Phantom X. Okay, let's see if we can't get uh, Strange Heartless with a one-shot with his basic from... There we go. All right, I will put a slow on to Negasonic. And now there's that Phantom X taunt. Okay, I am going to use the ultimate from T'Challa simply to copy those effects from Yondu. And then either Yondu or Bruiser will be who is going to clear this taunt for me. There's Yondu clearing the taunt. All right, let's get a turn meter rewind over here on all these guys. And we will hit Negasonic. Get rid of her. Um, let's get a... Hmm... Yeah, let's get these positive effects on my bruiser. And we'll put a slow over here. Now we can start working on Omega Red. So I'll save that heal. I don't really need it at this time. Let's see. I had defense down over here on Samurai, and I know I do a lot more damage with my, my Stitcher with that defense down. Let's go ahead and do that. Still got one more turn to get rid of Omega Red. So I'm going to get all these positive effects that are on Yondu onto both Bruiser as well as uh, T'Challa. Hopefully we'll try a, an assist from one of those boomers and get a slow over on Omega Red is what I'm hoping for as well. You're about to see a lot of positive effects go on to that T'Challa as well as that Bruiser. Okay, so we'll start working on this Omega Red. And what I'm going to end up doing here is trying to drop that Omega Red as well as that Silver Samurai at about the same time. We'll get a taunt over here on Hulk so you can eat some of that damage. 
So I'd like to drop I'd like to drop Omega Red and Silver Samurai at pretty close to the same time here. Hmm. Let's see. I got a slow on Omega Red. I got a slow on Phantom Max. Omega Red does have a speed up as well as that slow though. Let's rewind turn meter and hopefully we can get an assist and get a taunt over on Wong, which we did not. Or sorry, not a taunt, a uh, slow on Wong. So. We need to try to get rid of this Omega Red here. Let's see. Yeah, Omega Red's going to get to his turn before Silver Samurai is, so we'll get rid of him. And now we'll get rid of that Silver Samurai. All right, now I do have time to build cooldowns back up. I'm not so worried about the cooldowns from Yondu as I can build Yondu's cooldowns back on node 7. However, Star-Lord T'Challa is the only one whose cooldowns I'm really worried about because I will not be able to build he is a hero so I won't be able to build his cooldowns back before between nodes 5 and 10. So I do need to make sure that I manage his cooldowns properly. So I'm going to try to go through this node fairly slowly so that I can build those cooldowns back. Now, Madeline Pryor as well as Dazzler are going to be my two main threats that are on the field right now, so let's get slows on to both of them. Any of my healing, I'm going to save Wong, keep Wong alive as long as I can. So, Wong has the highest health pool in this entire node, so I save, I save him alive so that I can use um, Stitcher's heals off of Wong. Um, his heals are going to be based off of um, the health of the character that he's stealing the health from. So, We'll kill Phantom X and we'll spawn in Negasonic and another Phantom X. And I'm going to get these evades off of Dazzler. And now I'm going to start working on this Negasonic over here and try to get her under control. All right, so I've got that slow on her. I'm just going to get rid of Negasonic altogether. And we'll rewind some turn meter over here. Hopefully get an assist and get a slow on to Phantom X. If not, I'm not worried about it. We'll get that slow on Phantom X right now. Start getting that health down to Madeline Pryor, or we'll just delete her. That works too. And we'll just get rid of Dazzler. Alright, looks like we're in good shape for health. Wong is about to come up on turn, so I will delete Wong. Put a slow over here on Bruiser. Um, let's see if we can't get a slow on a Mr. Sinister. There we go. And we'll put a slow on this Bruiser so everybody's got slows. Uh, hit Phantom X. Phantom X again. And that assist just deletes Phantom X. Uh, looking around, looks like we've got pretty good health all around. I think that basic will do a little less damage, so it works for me. And we'll get a defense up on everybody, so if we do get attacked, 
I won't be doing that much. And hopefully. And then we'll just delete this bruiser. Nope. All right, perfect. So this is almost exactly perfect. So I didn't quite get all my full cooldowns with Yondu. Let's see, after this turn, Yandu will need one more turn, and he'll have his ultimate charged and ready to go for node 10. So let's go ahead and end this node here. And T'Challa has full health, full cooldowns. And so does my Boomer and my Bruiser. So there we go. So what I'm going to do in... What I'm going to do here to get Yandu's ultimate back up is I'm going to put him in on node 7 as my fourth. And that will get his cooldowns all the way back up. So in node 10, he's going to go in 100%. So this has been a tutorial for node 5, difficulty 8, 237 scourges of the War Scourge. Thank you for watching.